Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through some fraction word problems. We have two sections. We'll start with word problems involving fractions of a whole, so one whole is divided into equal parts. Then we will move on to fractions of a group. So our whole will be the whole group, and then we have individual parts of that whole group. We will be writing out fractions here. So we will need to determine the numerator and denominator based on the situation. Let's jump into number one, where we have TJ made lasagna for dinner. The lasagna was divided into nine equal pieces. TJ and his family ate seven pieces. What fraction of the lasagna was eaten? Well, let's start with the denominator the total number of parts. So in this situation, the total number of pieces the lasagna was divided into. That's nine. The lasagna was divided into nine equal pieces. So nine is our denominator. Now we need the numerator. That's the number of parts out of the whole that we are interested in or focused on. We can think of the numerator as the number of parts being talked about. Here we want the fraction of the lasagna that was eaten. So we need the number of pieces of lasagna that TJ and his family ate. That's seven. TJ and his family ate seven pieces. So seven is our numerator. Seven pieces out of the nine total pieces were eaten. So our fraction here, seven ninths. Seven ninths of the lasagna was eaten. Let's move on to number two. We have what fraction of the lasagna is left? Well, if there were nine total pieces and seven were eaten, what's left? So we can figure this out by doing nine total pieces minus the seven pieces that were eaten, and that gives us two pieces left. Now we need a fraction here. Let's start with the denominator. That's nine again, because that's the total number of pieces that the lasagna was divided into. So again, our denominator here, nine. Now we need the numerator. That's going to be the number of pieces left. That's two. Two is our numerator. Two pieces out of the nine total pieces are left. So our fraction here, two ninths. Two ninths of the lasagna is left. And we actually have a visual over here of this situation. There are nine total pieces with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces that were eaten, and then we have one, two pieces left. The seven pieces that were eaten plus the two pieces that are left equal the nine total pieces, the whole lasagna. Let's move on to numbers three and four. Taking a look at numbers three and four, let's jump into number three where we have Chef Quinn baked a pie and cut it into eight equal pieces. Five pieces were eaten. What fraction of the pie was eaten and what fraction is left? So we have two questions here. Let's start with what fraction of the pie was eaten. And we will start with the denominator. So we need the total number of pieces that the pie was cut into. Well, that's eight. The pie was cut into eight equal pieces. So eight, is our denominator. Now we need the numerator, and we're starting with what fraction of the pie was eaten? Well, five pieces were eaten. So five is our numerator. Five pieces out of the eight total pieces were eaten. So our fraction here, five eighths. So five eighths of the pie was eaten. Now let's go to our second question. What fraction is left? Now there were eight total pieces and five were eaten. That means we are subtracting five from the eight total pieces. That gives us 
three pieces that are left. So let's write a fraction here, and we will start with the denominator, which is going to be eight again, eight total pieces. So denominator of eight, and then our numerator is going to be three. There are three pieces left. So numerator of three. Three pieces out of the eight total pieces are left. So our fraction here, three eighths. Three eighths of the pie is left. So five eighths of the pie was eaten and three eighths of the pie is left. Lastly, let's move on to number four where we have Miley divided her garden into four equal sections. One section is for tomatoes, one section is for peppers, one section is for lettuce, and one section is for flowers. What fraction of the garden is for tomatoes? So let's start with our denominator here, which is going to be the total number of parts, the total number of sections that the garden was divided into. Well, the garden was divided into four equal parts, four equal sections. So our denominator is four. Now we need our numerator. So the number of parts out of the whole that we are interested in, that we're focused on. Well, we want what fraction of the garden is for tomatoes. Tomatoes are going to go in one section. So one out of the four sections is for tomatoes. Our fraction here is one fourth. One fourth of the garden is for tomatoes. So there's our first section, fractions of a whole. Let's move on to fractions of a group. Now we're going to go through some fractions of a group word problems. Let's jump into number one where we have, Bo has seven pencils in his backpack. Four pencils are blue and three pencils are yellow. What fraction of the pencils are blue? Let's start with the denominator. So the total number of parts that make up the whole group. Well, that's seven pencils. Bo has seven pencils in his backpack. So that's our denominator, seven pencils in total. Each one of those pencils is an equal part of the whole group. Now we need the numerator. That's the number of parts out of the whole that we are interested in, that we are focused on. We can think of the numerator as the number of parts we are talking about. We want what fraction of the pencils are blue. So the number of blue pencils is going to be our numerator. Well, Bo has four pencils that are blue. So four is our numerator. Four out of the seven pencils are blue. So our fraction here, four sevenths. Four sevenths of the pencils are blue. Moving on to number two, what fraction of the pencils are yellow? Let's start with the denominator, which is going to be seven again. So the denominator is seven, and now we need the numerator. So the number of yellow pencils. Bo has three pencils that are yellow. So three is our numerator. Three out of the seven pencils are yellow. So our fraction here, three sevenths, three sevenths of the pencils are yellow. Now you'll notice I have a visual of seven pencils off to the right. That's there to help us picture these two word problems. I'll provide visuals for the other examples as well, but our main focus here is going to be working from the word problems. But feel free to use the visuals to help out. Let's move on to number three. Taking a look at number three, we have Sophia baked a dozen sugar cookies. And remember, a dozen means 12. She made seven with orange frosting and five with blue frosting. What fraction of the cookies have orange frosting? Let's start with the denominator. So the total number of cookies here, Sophia baked a dozen sugar cookies. Again, a dozen is 12. So 12 is our denominator here. And now we need the numerator. We are looking for the cookies that have orange frosting. So how many cookies were made with orange frosting? Seven were made with orange frosting. So seven 
is our numerator. Seven out of the 12 cookies have orange frosting. So our fraction here, seven twelfths. Seven twelfths of the cookies have orange frosting. Lastly, let's move on to number four. Taking a look at number four, we have Donovan has 11 red marbles and five yellow marbles. What fraction of the marbles are red? Let's start with the denominator. So we need the total number of marbles here. Now the problem doesn't directly tell us how many marbles Donovan has, but we can figure it out with the information that was given. He has 11 red marbles, and five yellow marbles. So let's add those to see how many marbles he has in total. 11 plus five gives us 16. So Donovan has 16 marbles in total. That's our denominator. Now we need the numerator and we're looking for the fraction of the marbles that are red. Donovan has 11 red marbles, so 11 is the numerator. 11 marbles out of the 16 total marbles are red. Our fraction here, 11 sixteenths. 11 sixteenths of the marbles are red. So there you have it. Those were some word problems to help our understanding of fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Peace.